Yo, it's your boy Crocky. What and, up? <laughs> and, and I got Lucy here. You, hey. <laughs> so I had some days off, right? I got a few days off of work. I'm gonna go spend a few nights in the canyon. I spend all day hiking down in here. Look at those details. Oof. I set up my tent, take a little nap, and then I got a mission. And I'm like, oh, nature. Dude, you look like you're looking for like a like a, a sheep right now. Like, where's the sheep? Oh my God, no, no, no. Oh. Yeah. Oh God, cringing. I start walking no. in the creek and there's a common king snake. And I kind of like it because it's black and white and I'm really into yin and yang and all that hippy dippy stuff right now. Hey, he's not common, he's special. He's a special well, snake. he is actually common, but yeah. <laughs> now, you might, if, if you're, uh, if you live around the Grand Canyon, you might know where I'm at. You might recognize it. I'm not going to say, just for the sake of the mystery of the Grand Canyon. You guys are welcome to discuss in the comments. And uh, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, give a like. But uh, check it out. I'm checking out the Colorado River. I'm at the very bottom of the Grand Canyon. Mm. And I'm basically waiting for it to get dark. Wow, that's pretty late. This is like peak of summer. And I brought a black light flashlight. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, no. I'm terrified now. Great. Oh, God. Searching for scorpions. So I, I you know, waited for the sun to go down. I got my black light. And I was kind of feeling like I might, I wasn't seeing any. I was like, well, maybe I'm not going to see any. Total opposite. I end up seeing so many, dozens and dozens of scorpions. Mm. That, um... There's really that many down there? This was my first time bringing a black light and it changed everything. Oh my god. Now, I've got my, my phone, I, I shot most of this using just my phone, but I got the phone on a selfie stick. This is the Arizona Bark Scorpion and that is the deadliest scorpion in North America. My whole body is tense right now. I don't want to... <laughs> no! So I'm just looking for them. Now, they have the most potent venom. Um, and this guy, look at this one. Look close here. This one wow. has captured some food. They go, and look at the rock. That's like the the Vishnu schist or something. It, it just, just like, looks, um, it looks not real. I mean, it really you've got, looks well, you You've got the purple of the black light. You've got the red of my headlamp. And then uh. This guy is, the, the way they eat is they, they can't eat the bug whole. So they're going to inject their digestive fluids into it, and that's going to start to break it down. Oh, God. So it's the deadliest scorpion in North America. They prefer riparian areas. Where the water is, that's where the life is. And if they're looking for food, that's where they want to hang out. They're also <laughs> resilient to nuclear <laughs> bombs. They did the testing in New Mexico, the atomic bomb, and what they found was in the same area, scorpions were still alive and well. I mean, I guess, you know, they're gonna be the thing also with cockroaches after everything blows up. Then. Exactly. Wow. Scorpions are in the arachnid family. They got eight legs. They got the pinchers. One. God, they're two, everywhere. Three. No. Four. Oh man. How am I gonna camp? Oh my god. And then I'm wondering, I'm, I'm completely alone. Like, I'm in a place, you probably know where I'm at. I'm in a place, if I screamed as loud as I could, nobody would hear it. If, even if I screamed for five minutes straight, nobody would hear it. I, sh I, I should call Haley. I'm curious what happens if, if I were to get stung down here and I'm all alone. Hello? Yo, Ranger Haley. What's up, family? I got a question for you. Let's say I'm hiking alone somewhere and, and maybe I'm wearing sandals 
and I get stung by a bark scorpion. What do I do? Alright, is this real? Did you just get stung? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm, I'm safe right now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, first of all, I would definitely clean it. Uh, if you are out in the backcountry, you're alone, you're wearing sandals, definitely clean it with, like, mild soap, cold water. You can definitely take, like, ibuprofen or, like, Motrin or something. Have you ever been stung? Oh, man, multiple times. I, last summer, I think I was stung maybe six times. I was reaching down, it was nighttime at Lake Powell, and I was reaching down into my backpack to get my water bottle, and with my left hand, and I pulled it out, and I realized that there's a scorpion on my water bottle, and I got stung about three times, and for about the next 16 hours, I felt like icy hot had been injected under my skin. You're not in for a fun time if you get stung by a bark scorpion. There is a giant scorpion over uh, here. Then I see a really big one. Look at that guy. Oh goody. And I'm just I'm just taking my time ten feet away. walking back to my campsite. Like ten feet away right there. Ten I'm saying I'm ten feet away from this and I can see it that clear. This, Holy cow. This one is a different species. This is what they call the giant Ooh. hairy scorpion. Mm. Just throw some hair on that. Sounds great. They got these hair. The hairs are going to feel for the bug. So look oh at that. Oh my. Ooh. So they can't see very well. Oh my God. Yet, they, they, I shouldn't say that. They, they have some of the most light sensitive vision in the whole animal kingdom. Yet what they see is blurry. But they can actually see by... Um, they can see by starlight. I mean, they're just, they're looking by starlight and they're using the hairs to sense the bugs. Wow, he's, I mean, oh! I, like I really how, felt animated. Yeah, oh, man. They move, it, it reminds me of Wes Anderson, like Life Aquatic, the, the um, like the creatures in Life Aquatic. The way they move. Look at those little hands he's got, these little chomp chompers, they're like shrimp. I've never really gotten close to one like this. Now, the glow is actually a mystery. Some people think they glow that, you know, it's a fluorescent, um, fluorescence that comes when you shine like a low wave UV light on them. And some people think it protects them from sunlight. Some people think it helps them find each other. Others think it might confuse prey. Uh, these guys are, are mostly trying to eat uh, crickets, beetles, wasps, moths. Are they out in the day? They're nocturnal. Oh. They're gonna hide away, stay away from the desert heat and the sunlight during the day, so oh. they're gonna hide in, in rocks and stuff. Hmm, okay. Well, it's a relief. Oh my, oh my god. Now look at, yeah, this guy's going Ooh. after some bugs. So my light is actually attracting bugs. And look at that one up. Oh my Boom. god, look at those lightning got it. reflexes. Holy cow. He got it, so he puts the <gasps> stinger up. Ugh. <gasps> But he doesn't need it. They don't always need it. I'm gonna, here we go, replay. Oh my God, I've got goosebumps. My whole body's a goosebump right now. Oh no. Look at the bug, so the bug is up to the left. Oh my God. Boom. He just, look at that. Sweeped it in. And his little tail's like all the way up. Now they can, they can sting in defense and they can sting as far as trying to get their prey. They could actually go after a lizard. Oh man. It's seriously like a like a shrimp spider. It's a spider prawn. Mm -hmm. And they could even be eaten by an owl in the night. An owl could swoop down and, and eat them. Think about, you gotta reach your, your backside in front of your front side to kill something. <laughs> <laughs> that has got to be a workout. That's an ab workout right there. <laughs> oh my god. It is believed, some people believe that a scorpion is actually the oldest full-time land animal. Full-time? Yeah. Like, like, like not going back break. and forth. He doesn't take like any vacation time? No vacay. Okay. Except, well, look at this guy. He's swimming around the water. Oh my god, no. Oh, I have arachnophobia. 
I do. There's like no salvation for All this. Right. So, well, look at this. Look at this. So, I'm walking around in my sandals and I'm thinking, wait, oh, can they swim? Right? Like, I'm, I'm like, I thought they were, I thought I, if as long as I walked in the creek, I was fine. He's using his stingers and anger. No, look what's <gasps> happening. What is that? Is that a centipede? Oh, God, barf. Oh, it's just. I'm gonna barf! Oh my god, no! I'm almost uh, back to my campsite. They're in a death battle right now. Yeah, it's a freaking what wrestling match. What is that? Oh my god. Like, dude, what is that? Like, I've never seen that before. What is that? That looks evil. It is a demon from the water. It is a rock water demon. What's, <laughs> what's even creepier is the scorpions glow with the light, so I can see where the scorpions are. You can't see the rock demon that looks like a centipede from hell. It doesn't, you can't see it. I, why would anybody want to go in there now? How is it, well, I mean, like it just, this is something that time forgot about. Oh my God, wow. How is it not using its stinger? Scorpion? I mean, yeah. Well, he, look, he's got it like, armed yeah. he's trying but the, look at the the creature and and i'm gonna have to call frank keep rocking frankopedia what is that creature it's a hell grand mic it's a, it's, a, it's a larvae of a dobson fly that's crazy yeah they yeah the larvae the hell grand mites they like to eat invertebrates like little insects and all that, um, especially aquatic invertebrates like caddis flies and uh, stone flies, black flies, main flies, you know, the larvae of them. And they eat worms and mollusks. And they eat small fish too, and uh, tadpoles. They're, they're pretty voracious predators, but when they grow up, you know, adults, they grow these big flies called Dobson flies, and they have these huge jaws. Wow. Yeah, they, they, they like um, cobblestone creeks, you know, and all that, and they like to hide under the rocks, so find the prey that they drag them underneath the rock that like you saw there. Yeah, right at the end. They almost got sucked yeah. into a waterfall. They're like they're almost getting sucked by the current and that thing is so strong it pulls the scorpion and, and yeah, it kinda kinda like pulls it under a rock. Yeah, it, it's amazing how they can that the that the larvae can survive in those high current streams, um, strong current streams because they actually have these little miniature hooks on their on their abdomen. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I'm assuming it killed that scorpion and it's going to eat it. But yeah, and they, just like so you know, they, they breathe underwater. They have gills. That's, yeah, it's such a crazy uh, life span. You know, they're, uh, they're an aquatic larvae, and then they yeah. come on the land, turn into the fly. Yeah, and only for a week they do an adult. Is that right? Yeah, underwater they can live one to three years in water, right? And then, and then they come out and go in these moist moths, decaying wood, something moist, moist soil by the creek, and that's when they they go into this pupae cell and uh, they develop a little bit more. And then when they hatch out that cell, they go you know, the adult kind of flying around for a week and they die. Wow. Well, next time, let's go look for the Dobson fly. Brand Canadian TV.